Hey, how's it going? Nat here, coming up on the show. A mysterious monolith, Beyonce leads the Grammy nominations, and Santa in a snow globe? But first, subscribe. Please. A helicopter pilot in America has caused a storm on social media after discovering an unidentified metal object in the middle of the desert. So is it aliens, an elaborate piece of art, or just a prank? Charlotte uncovers the truth. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Hang on a minute. What's that doing there? <laughs> yep, this giant metal mystery slab was discovered in the middle of the desert by a helicopter pilot who was counting bighorn sheep in Utah, America. A totally routine operation, a totally not routine find. Yeah, it's just wild. Uh-huh, super wild. And now it's got people all over the world scratching their heads as to what it is and why it's there. At the moment, authorities are keeping its location under wraps, but so far we know it's metal, it's sticking up out of the ground, and it's about three metres tall, thanks to this very accurate measuring system. According to the interwebs, a lot of people seem pretty convinced it's got something to do with aliens, but that's probably because of its similarity to this movie, 2001 A Space Odyssey, where an extraterrestrial monolith mysteriously appears, upsetting every ape in sight. Authorities are taking a much more realistic route and reckon it's probably just an art installation. They've now issued a reminder that it's illegal to install structures without authorization on public land, no matter what planet you're from. Beyonce has topped 2021's Grammy nominations. She received a total of nine noms, including two for Record of the Year. The Grammys are America's biggest music awards, and this year, women have led a lot of the categories. For the first time ever, every Grammy nominee for Best Rock Performance is a woman, while Taylor Swift has scooped up six noms, mostly for her album Folklore. The news wasn't so good for The weekend. Despite dominating charts all year, it received no nominations at all. All right, it's time to meet the winners of this year's Sleek Geek Science Eureka Prize, a competition that challenges kids to make a video about a scientific concept they're passionate about. Here's Joe. This year's Sleek Geeks competition had a pretty soggy theme. No, really, the theme was water. And these guys got super creative <laughs> explaining some of the physics behind it. Super cool. Scarlet P and Scarlet O from Oak Flats Primary School in New South Wales won first place in the primary school category. The two Scarlets used claymation and dance to explain the process of supercooling, where a liquid is chilled to its freezing point without becoming a solid. We are just using it to create super tasty treats. Himalaya from Baldwin High School in Victoria took home the secondary school prize. To explain why water droplets move closer together until they merge, he made this song called The Secret Life of Droplets. Surface is stretchy, all dimensions, and this is what we call surface tension. If you're keen to show off your science skills in next year's competition, organisers have now announced the theme, and it's big. Big is the theme. So, if you want your chance to get in on the Oscars of science, crack out your cameras, get the creative juices flowing, and try to come up with something big. Hmm, that's a little odd. And so are these next stories, because seem right doesn't quite that. I mean, that doesn't seem quite right. Now, do you notice anything a bit off about this scene? A big wonky centre circle had been curiously painted on this soccer field in Brazil. The game went on nonetheless because, hey, ball is life, right? Something doesn't seem quite right about this Santa meet and greet. I mean, for starters, Santa's stuck inside a massive snow globe. A snow globe inside a zoo in Denmark. Hmm, I wonder if he can even hear your Christmas wishes. Probably not. And if you've ever seen the movie Jaws, then you'll know who this guy is. Bruce the Shark is a terrifying fiberglass replica of the original prop used in the movie. 
But somehow, seeing him covered in bubble wrap and lifted by Crane doesn't feel right, even if his new home is the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. See you tomorrow. Bye.